Hello. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, Lockout Man? How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Flyest trucker in the building. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> This yes, uh, this sir. this this been a long time coming, man. I mean, I've I've been trying to get at you for for a while, like for years. So you know, so yeah. but I but thank you, thank you for taking the time to uh, to come on and correct. conversate with me. Yeah. Well, no you, problem. No you, problem. My pleasure. You been through a lot these past years. So let's let's yeah. go. Let's let's go back. Back in the time. Um, okay. So we initially met in in the Zello group. Or yeah, was it was it the Zello? Yes. All right. It so, was Zello. So we initially yeah. met in in Zello. So let's let's talk about that for a little bit. Have you um I, I I'm not sure if the group well, I, I don't think it's active anymore, but do you still talk to some of the people that was in the group? I do. Um, Truck Talk and Chill is still going. Oh, They're it still is? still on Zello. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yes, they are. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but I think all the other ones are no longer. K. Will's group is still around. Mm -hmm. All truckers welcome. That's still around. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the other ones are, aren't. Yeah, I, I think they've um, dispersed. So. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, uh, for Soul Nation, because the, the, it was a Zello group and it's a Facebook group mm -hmm. as well. Uh, rest in mm -hmm. peace, the big country. He he was the one that was definitely, definitely. Yeah, he he was the one that was holding uh, both of those uh, groups down. Um, it's just unfortunate, you know, his unfortunate passing kind of like you know, yeah, kind kind of like made the groups kind of like this, you know, disperse. Uh, so mm -hmm. nation is still is still popping. I mean, well, it's not popping like it used to be, but I still make sure mm -hmm. that I put content inside that group to, you know, to keep it active. Um Okay, but, okay. But you say but now you, but but Oh the, go ahead. Go ahead. But um you said the Facebook, the Facebook Soul Nation is still going, going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul Nation on okay. on Facebook is is still going on. There's still some people that's uh okay. That's putting, you know, that's that's putting content inside of the group as well okay. as myself. Um, you know, I, okay. I at least try to, you know, try to engage, you know, have some type of engagement going. Um, right. Nikki, uh, which is she's the other uh, admin uh, due to the fact okay. due to the fact the big country's passing, it really took a toll mm -hmm. on her. So. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Yeah, as, as it did all of us, and let me let me say also mm -hmm. about my little brother. You know, rest in paradise. You are truly, truly missed. Um, man, we love you. We talk about you all the time, and how I wish he was still here, man. Yeah, definitely, great guy, great guy, definitely, where, great, where, great person. Where Where were you? Mm. Where were you when? You 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 got the notice of of his passing. I actually was on the road. I cannot remember exactly uh, what city or state I was in, but I know I was on the road. And Nikki called me, and she told me. Um, unfortunately, there um, there had been some differences between us at the time, mm -hmm. and we weren't communicating when he passed. Um. So, you know, that struck me really, really, really hard when she called me and told me about his passing. And, um, yeah, yeah, that hurt, that hurt to the core. She, Seriously. Uh, she, uh, we, we came together at a meet and greet, uh, during her birthday. That's, that's where we actually, uh, met face to face, mm -hmm. uh, big country. Yes. Uh, uh, Nikki and and the rest of the drivers that showed up for Nikki's birthday. Um, mm -hmm. 
he he was he he was a, a good comic relief at the party, uh, literally and figuratively. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. shout, shout, mm-hmm. shout out shout out to him for that. Um, we're Definitely. we're not going we're not going to touch on that part, but we we did have a, <laughs> we we did have a good time at the uh, at at the party. Had- all said and done, though. We did, we did. It was an awesome time. Yeah, and actually, that was the that wasn't the first time that um, I uh, was with Big Country. Our first time meeting after, of course, conversating, you know, via um, Facebook or Zello or telephone or whatever. Um, you know, we, we had been speaking for years prior to us meeting face to face, but our first meeting, um, was at the the truck show. Okay. The Matt's one of the truck shows, the the Matt's truck show. It was actually, it was the Dallas truck show. Um, I had gotten, I had rented everybody, uh, Airbnb and, uh, he came in later after we got there and, but. Thankfully, we had we had enough room to to take him in, and that was our first time meeting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah my my yeah. first time my first time meeting him was definitely at a Nikki's at Nikki's party. But prior to party, okay. Prior to Nikki's party, he had his birthday party down in uh, Georgia, and I heard it was lit. Right. Oh yes, sir. It was. We we got an Airbnb again, <laughs> and um, yes, he had the time of his life. Actually, uh, his his birthday just passed not too long ago, and you know how Facebook will send you uh, the memories. Yes, man. And I had shared some video feed of the actual birthday, and then I sat and watched that, and I just was in tears because I really truly miss him. Yeah, he 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 was really a good truly guy. missed him. He, he was a good guy. He, he, he really always, was. He Man. always called and made sure that we was good. Are you good? Yeah, yes. you good? Yes, that, yes. You good? Yes, sir. I'm good, bro. Yes. Thank you for yes. reaching out. I'm just yes. calling to make yes. sure you good, man. <laughs> You good, definitely. Shine. You good, Not, shine. You yeah. good, lock out me. Like, yeah, man, I'm good. Where where you at, yeah. man? Hey, I'm up here. Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. It was so funny. Yeah. It was so funny because, yeah. you know, all of us, all of us shared a relationship that uh, that when we was on Facebook at the time, we will all share mm-hmm. our location. Don't do that no more. Yeah. But mm-hmm. we was all sharing, <laughs> right. uh, we, we, we all shared our location. <laughs> and it was so funny. Mm-hmm. It was so funny that I was I, I forgot. The, I forgot the loves where we was at. But I I, mm-hmm. I, I was part. And mm-hmm. big country, ring ring, yo, big country was good. He's like, you good? I, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. What's up? Yeah. He was like, where you yeah. at, man? I says, uh, I'm up here at the, I'm up here at the loves. Uh, about to shut it down. Mm-hmm. Why? What's up? Mm-hmm. It was like, it was like, mm-hmm. bro, I'm parked right next to you. I said, what? Ain't that something? <laughs> I said, no, you're not my yeah. G. He was like, yeah, look out yeah. your window. He was part right next to me, man. And, you know, we got out. Yeah. Uh, got out and chopped it up and had a good old time that night, man. It was just, mm-hmm. it, it, it was just an awesome, he was just an awesome dude, man. I mean, he, 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 he really was, was. He was, he Genuine wasn't, ab- too. yes, it, it, he wasn't about yeah, no drama. You know what I'm saying? No. It wasn't about no drama, no. no nothing. He was a genuine. He was a genuine, genuine friend part. that was concerned yeah. about you if you was part of his yeah. clique. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, shout yeah. out to Big Country, man, because like I said, he, 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 he was just a breath of fresh air to talk to. Like you know, you mm-hmm. you're getting, you know, you getting the uh, mm-hmm. groups like you know, like Will's group or Chuck Chuck and Chill, and you know how everybody like to get reckless with the mouth. He's the one that actually comes <laughs> in and be like, "Yo, okay, I don't want to be bothered with all that," you know. But um, right, right. But yeah, man, good guy, good guy. I'm I I do miss I, I do miss the world of him. Um. 
at the party, at, at the party, you know, we uh we mm-hmm. we definitely uh got to know each other uh a little better. Um Yes, we did. Everybody everybody there on 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 the serious note, everybody there really had a good time. Uh I got we did. A, you know, mm-hmm. I got a chance to meet there, you know, at least some of the people that we was conversating with. Uh mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. after you know, after the party, um you know, we all kind of went our separate ways and we kind of, you know, kind of lost contact with each other. Um, I, you, you did mention that there was a little bit of friction between you and, between you and Nikki. Have, have y'all resolved that? I mean, we don't have to go into details or anything like that, but ha- have you guys resolved it? Because y'all, y'all two. We have. Y'all two was like, I I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all y'all two was like freaking frack, uh, right. like, definitely. Like like true like y'all like true sisters. Like, yeah. You you would tell yeah. you would tell people like, yo, that's that's my sister right there. And when I, mm-hmm. you know, when I when I kind of, you know, when I kind of saw that there was friction between y'all two, I was kind of sad because. It was you and Big yeah. Country that kind of introduced me to Nikki at that time. Exactly. Hold, hold on one hold on one second. Yes, sir. I do have straps. You need three of them? Okay. Freight Lane Group. That's who I that's who I pull under. Hold hold on. hmm I'm sorry, lockout man. No, 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 you good. Okay. Yes, KCH Transportation. You just want to make sure you get the right look. Yeah, we we want that. Okay, well here, let me give you these. Let me give you these straps. You know how to put them on, right? <laughs> just making sure. You know, you got some people there be like, we don't put them on. You have to come put them on. Okay, let me. They're in here. Let me get them. I'm glad I brought them too, and I think I brought. Three exactly. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't finished moving everything in. Lockout man in this new truck. I I, I hear it. I hear it. So, take, your, take your time. <laughs> Twenty eight kids going to Virginia. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm back. All right. So uh yeah. where where we left off. Um so I mean I, So yeah, we 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 were we we've resolved everything. Um, you know, again, it was an unfortunate situation, you know, just um miscommunication or the lack of communication and you know, sometimes that can that can turn into something else. Um it never changed the love that she and I had for each other or still have for each other. Um, actually, I just got off the phone with her right before uh, this call, and so um, okay, yeah, we we're good. we're good, yeah, uh, we're good. Did good. did you make it? Did did you by chance uh, make it to her wedding and be a part of that? I did not. I was invited. We were we were speaking at the time. Um, I did get to meet her husband um, before she got married, but I wasn't able to make it to the wedding ceremony. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I was able to meet him, and I've you know uh, seen him and spent a little time with him since then as well. You know, seeing that she and I are so close. So. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, she uh, mm-hmm. reached out to me and said, "Yo, lockout man, I'm getting married." I was like, "What? Yay! Okay, mm-hmm. okay." I was like, mm-hmm. I was like <sighs> "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." <laughs> But uh, but yeah, I'm, that's my, I, I that's am my I am girl. I am I am ecstatic for it. Though. I am ecstatic for it. Nikki uh, is another uh, young driver that's uh, that has a good heart too. So you know, yes, she does. Um, all right, awesome individual, man. Let me tell you, when we first met, mm-hmm. we met at the we met at the Louisville truck show, and I I want to say. We never even had much 
communication prior to the truck show. But our our chemistry was so strong that when we first met, you would have thought we had been knowing each other for years. I mean, man, she feeds off what we would be talking, and she feed off of what I say. I feed off of what she said. It was to the point that that Toe Jam was like, "Oh my God, you are you sure you guys you guys just now meeting?" And we both like, "Yeah, we just meeting for the first time." <laughs> and like right. again, hadn't had much communication prior. You know, like for example, Toe Jam and I. You know, uh, meeting at the truck show, that was our first time actually meeting, but we had been communicating for years through Zello. You know what I mean? And, and, and interacting through Facebook, you know, solving roles. So, but Nikki and I hadn't, we, we didn't have that. But man, it, it was like we had been knowing each other for years. There you go. That's that's how it goes down. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just that when y'all, yep. when, if, when y'all just meet, y'all just knew, like, you know, the, the, the chemistry of the friendship was there. Kin- yes. Kindred, kindred spirits, man. Exactly. Kindred spirits. She's an, she's an awesome individual. All right. Awesome woman, All you right. know? So, yeah. So fly. Let's, uh, let's get into you for a little bit. Where, where you hail from? Okay. Okay. I hail from Pasadena, California, born and raised. Okay. Okay. What you was doing yeah. before you got into trucking? I was uh, I was a hairstylist and, and salon owner for thirty plus years. What? Wait. Thirty plus years. Yes, sir. Wait, wait, wait. You you had success as a salon owner. Well, let me. I you know I did business mm-hmm. cards. Uh, you know, in my past life for various okay. uh, <laughs> beauty salons, uh, uh-huh. barber shops, and stuff like that. But you've been a salon owner mm-hmm. for for thirty years. What was what was the experience like, at least owning a hmm. a, a salon? Because I always wonder, right? Mm-hmm. Like, do you? Okay, so let me ask you this: as a salon owner, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When 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 the young ladies come in, uh, to you know the young ladies that do the hair, the ones that do the hair, do they mm-hmm. do, do the you? Do you do you pay them or do they pay you? And from what I meant by paying you, I heard I, I, I heard throughout my travels. It's called booth rent. It's called booth mm-hmm. rent. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So if you got well, like, explain explain uh-huh. that whole concept right quick. Okay, well there's a there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, you can you can do booth rental where the stylist has a, a particular booth. They rent that booth for a certain amount of money a week, and they pay you at the end of every week. Or you can do a commission base, uh, whereas their clients will pay the cash register. Rather, you know, you have a receptionist up front or the owner, whoever, and um, you then give them a percentage of what they brought in that week. Okay. Okay. So there's a couple of different ways. Now, the only, the only thing now I, I, I have done both majority of the time it has been booth rental because, uh, when you typically have your own clientele, uh, you, you, you typically want to do booth rental. You don't want to, I know. And even with me being a booth renter, um, I, I've never, I think it's, there's only been maybe once or twice, um, that I've done the commission basis. And that's because I worked in a salon that was in the mall. And um, even though, granted, you can still do a booth rental in the mall, but that's just how he had it set up. Uh, so then I got a percentage of what I brought in. I didn't necessarily like that because <laughs> I had my own clientele. And typically you, you tend to uh, come out of come out more. You know, you come out your pocket more when you're more when you're on commission than when you do booth rent. Just give me a set price of what you want and let me pay you that, and then and we we're good. And okay. I supply you supply your own products, all that stuff. When you pretty much do booth rent, when you do commission, that means the salon pretty much supplies everything for you. Okay, okay. Now let me ask you this, and mm-hmm. see, and and let me see if mm-hmm. I can I, I can understand this because you you mentioned clients a few times. So is it better? Mm-hmm. It, it, how how did you? Uh, I'm assuming you already had a few clients before you started, you know, working out of the salon. 
uh, or for mm-hmm. ladies that started working out of the salon. But is it better for them to come in with their clients than try to then try to compete with each other with people coming off the street? It is. Um, it, it can it can be a little hectic. So let me give I'll give you just a little backstory on me. Um, of course, if I was in a business thirty something years, then that means you got uh, some stories. Out of high school, exactly. I went I went straight. Well, so I, I took a year off after I graduated high school. I took a year off before I went to college, and then I ended up going a year later. And so um, I pretty much been doing hair ever since. Well, I 